The Saints Row Reboot. What the hell just happened? What do you guys think it's for dinner tonight? It's time to stop! If you guys are not aware yet, Saints Row, the reboot just dropped last week. Oh, it was just a trailer. But let me tell you guys something. It was badly received. A lot of dislikes, a lot of negative comments trashing the whole game itself just by the trailer. It's insane, bro. It's insane. So I saw the trailer myself and I'm thinking like, yep, this trailer is catered for the kids of this generation, the Fortnite kids. The time that I knew that this game was dead on arrival is when I saw the guy running the motorcycle with a cat neon head. Let's do it. Great. Whenever you're ready, Kevin. What do you guys think it's for dinner tonight? That's when I knew this game was catered for the kids of this generation. I'm like, yeah, the same for me. The hardcore fans of Saints Row, yeah, they're pissed off. Even the, the fans from Saints Row 3, which is the most ridiculous game of the whole franchise, are pissed off too. All those fans are pissed off. Saints Row 2 fans, Saints Row 1 fans are all pissed off about this whole ordeal. People are saying that even this gang, the one in the background, the Pantera, are actually more interesting than the Saints Row itself. I don't know, man. I really do not know. I mean, you can look at the trailers for Saints Row 2. It was hardcore. I like it. I like the serious tone. They were going kind of like an action cinematic scenes in Saints Row 2. And then you look at Saints Row 3. It was action oriented and it was it was good looking. And then you look into Saints Row Reboot. The characters are really so unlikable from the beginning. That's when you know, yeah, this ain't happening. Hey guys, what you got in the oh stolen Marshall MDI-101 M9 multi rocket shoulder launchers? This needs to stop now. But they already so disliked by everyone. It's it's something that I'm really dis disappointed by in this company. I mean, literally, this company could be. A billion dollar company if they were to remaster one and two. They could be using all these assets that you see on this trailer on Saints Row 1 and 2 remaster. That would have sold a lot of copies. So imagine how much money they would have made. But instead, we got this. And at the end trailer, we have we there's like a woman staring at the at the camera saying, like, yeah, bitch, we made this game. And you better play it and accept it. Like we're, we're like we're supposed to be forced to play this game. I'm like screw you, <laughs> screw you, bro. The developers hate us, bro. They he, they don't like their hardcore fans, sadly. So, kids of this generation, good luck picking up this game and let's see if they make the whole franchise out of this. Cause I don't think they will out of this trailer. Maybe the game is different compared to the trailer. Maybe it's like more better and gameplay wise. I don't know. We got to wait to see until February, see if the, if the Saints Row story is actually better than what we think of this trailer. So we'll see. So that is it, guys. I want to talk about Saints Row. If you guys got any questions, any concerns, leave it in the comment section and I'll read them later.